Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Players Press in the week of the saddest day of the year for gamers, Valentine's Day. In light of this love-filled holiday, this week we cover hatred, the game of course, and the horrible prank of swatting, among other things. Here's the updates. Are you looking for a mindlessly gory and morally absent game on Steam? Well, look no further. Valve has officially put Hatred, the game dedicated to murdering innocent people for fun, on the market for pre-purchase. The game has been rated adults only for some odd and unknown reason, and although Steam usually takes a stand against AO games, this one is different. Generally when Steam refuses to sell AO games, it's due to sexual content. It's pretty much the scourge of this earth that needs to be repressed in every way possible, so I can clearly see where Steam is coming from blocking every sexually explicit game that comes its way and receiving hatred with open arms due to its gruesome executions in lieu of boobs. We are unfortunately moving right into another dark and very dangerous topic among the gaming community, swatting. For any of you that don't know, Swatting is the action of calling a fake threat, like a shooting or a kidnapping, to a person's house or other address while they live stream in the sick hopes of getting to see the cops bust in and arrest, or at least scare the person. This has been going on for a few years, and many gamers have been affected by this, as well as a few celebrities. Because, you know, all of the Twitch streaming Beyonce does. In the past week, there have been a few notable cases of gamers being swatted, including Josh Peters from Minnesota and Joe Binder from Michigan. Josh Peters was busy playing RuneScape when the cops came to his door. His 10-year-old brother opened the door to a gun in his face. His family was home and they were all put in handcuffs. This scary incident could have easily ended someone's life. And to know that people are willing to put children's lives at risk for a funny joke is sick and insane. As for Joe Binder, he was live streaming Call of Duty when the cops came in and probably scared the living daylights out of both Joe and his family. Luckily, this instance also ended in a peaceful manner, but could have easily ended in a mistake and an unnecessary bloodshed. Just look at this boy. He looks like the shell of a kid he once was. The reporter had this to say. When Joe Binder gets home from school, he puts his headphones on and plays Call of Duty. We would like to take this time to remind everyone out there that Wait, what did she just say? Oh, no, 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 no. Back that up. When Joe Binder gets home from school, he puts his headphones on and plays Call of Duty. Call of Duty. COD? That is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You've got to be kidding me. Why does this always happen? I I'm sorry, but a screenshot? We do know that she has an affinity for the fantasy game called Dark Soul, which is a very dark, death-laden video game on PlayStation and other kind of uh, video uh, type things where there's a lot of killing um, involved. Dark Soul? I'm pretty sure if it was just one soul, that game would be very different. <sighs> As I was saying, Swatting is extremely dangerous, and any of you find folks tempted by the thought of scaving in the downtown TZ ruins, uh, excuse me, swatting, should think twice. Jack Black impersonator Brandon Framed God Wilson was sentenced to five years in prison for the Illinois swatting incident that happened in 2014. Shame on you, Jack Black. You should know better. It's illegal, dangerous, and against everything we as gamers stand for. Don't let some stupid prank destroy the ability to live stream. Now onto some brighter news. Happy birthday to everyone turning 18, because if you have a PlayStation Network account for some ungodly reason, you now have the chance to upgrade your account from its baby origins to a full-grown manly man account. PlayStation before this monumental day had restricted people, even if they had turned 18, from buying their own games and accessing 18 and older content. I guess Sony started becoming suspicious of the amount of people joining the community born in 1899. No, seriously, that's the earliest year you can select on PSN. Anyways, congrats to Sony and PlayStation for shedding its diapers for big boy pants. Now it can maybe get its act together enough to make PSN worth using. 
But unfortunately, now that it's an adult, it's farther than ever from getting its shit together. If you're like me, or any of the other millions of Americans who couldn't care less about the BAFTA awards, we'll be pleasantly apathetic to know that there's a gaming portion. This British Academy of Film and Television Arts, I see the gaming portion is correctly represented here, features games up for nominations such as music, artistic achievement, and multiplayer. Alien Isolation has the most nominations, so hopefully we can see this best thing to come out of the Alien franchise since the second movie, game, win one or two awards. Let's just check out the event portion of the gaming section to find the date for the and it's not there. Well, not a problem. Let's just do a broader search on the website. Oh, there's only one event and it's for some Welsh cult movement. Hooray! After hours of searching the rest of the internet, because having the dates on the official BAFTA website is for chumps, the award will take place March 12th. As a gamer, I can definitely feel the love of in this Valentine's Day from the BAFTA awards. We'll keep you updated on the winners if they care enough to have the award ceremony after all. Strap on your stupidly overpriced digital hats and sit down for the three-day gaming binge you might have with this week's promising game of the week, Overwatch. I of course mentioned both Team Fortress DOS and every MOBA game ever because this colorful, interesting, and fast-paced action FPS team-based game mixes various elements from both sides of the coin. On one hand, it has specific classes with various skill sets similar to Tift, as well as having various MOBA qualities to it like lanes and objectives. The one thing that sets both of these games apart from Overwatch is their absolute lack of story. Unless you count Man vs. Machine, a plot-based story, Overwatch brings something new to the metaphorical table of multiplayer games. Quote, Overwatch will have a lot of character chatter voice acting, which will flesh out various plot lines and character relationships on a match-by-match -match basis. Story elements that exist in-game will be elaborated on in stories that take place outside the game." End quote. This game is completely different. Okay, somewhat different from them, and has a lot of objective and unique qualities to it. It's the first new game franchise in forever from Blizzard, and we are more than happy to finally have something besides the endless string of WoW games. Not many details about the nature, whether it be free to play or one time buy, of the game, and only a few maps and game moves have been announced. Beta testing will be starting for the game as well. Hopefully Blizzard won't screw us with a monthly subscription because we know all too well how those work out in the FPS world. If you wanted to keep updated or sign up for the beta, the link is in the description. Are you ready for Fallout 4? Would you like to see details and gameplay and footage straight from Bethesda? Us too. And although we can't speculate, we can only hope that Fallout 4, among other game titles, will be brought about in Bethesda's ever first dip in the E3 pool. As it tests the water, there are many game titles possible for them to talk about, and we know for sure that its colossal failure of a game, ESO Tamriel Unlimited, will be mentioned with its release June 9th for consoles. This year's E3 conference takes place in LA on June 14th. Wolfenstein The New Order, The Evil Within, The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Doom, and Dishonored are all in the realm of possibilities, so controller comrades will be covering the E3 title releases like a Walk Off the Earth cover of a song, amazingly and possibly better than the original. Thank you so much for joining us. Your support is what makes this show possible. Thank you to our sponsors and to viewers like you. Have a safe week and good luck with your future endeavors. Subscribe to our channel to keep updated on all the haps of controller comrades. If you want to see our older videos, click here. Like us on the book and follow us on the twit for constant streams of useless information. Thanks for watching. So long and until next week.